All right, guys, welcome to WrestleMania 38, the XPG version. We're going to be doing a stupendous event alongside WWE Stupendous WrestleMania. This is the pre-show. We're going to do a little different here. We got two matches, one at the XPG Arena in Florida and one here in Dallas. Two rumbles in honor of the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. We're going to have crossovers, 30 men, 30 women. 10 from Raw, 10 from SmackDown, 10 from XPG of either variety are going to just clash. So, welcome to WrestleMania, brought to you by XPG, brought to you by WWE, the stupendous two-night, I guess technically three-night event. Okay, yeah, this is the pre-show, so I guess three-night event. This is uh, this is WrestleMania, guys, and see. You just find a seat and get comfy because this is going to get crazy especially with the the 10 xpg people that are in each of these rumbles so it's going to be good I'm, I'm pretty excited i hope i hope all goes well hope this is going to be a good pre-show these are going to be actual rumbles instead of battle royales the following contest is the royal rumble match the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! Yeah. Uh, scratch that part. We might make this some sort of a, a competitive thing for maybe the XPG title, <clears throat> or maybe for a universal situation, but uh, obviously this will not be for a title shot at WrestleMania, since we are at WrestleMania 38, lucky number one, starting us off, Drew McIntyre, Clay Moore. I feel for anybody coming to this Rumble right now. Mm. This is how you start a pre-show right here. This is how you start a pre-show. So this being day one, being pre-show, being whatever you want to call, we'll call it day one. Alright, day one is our rumbles. 10 Raw men, 10 SmackDown men, 10 XBG men, same for the women, are going to go hard. We might have to come up with some sort of reward for this and just kind of slip it to them after the match. But tomorrow night, we will have the Raw event. We've got some good stuff in addition to the Raw roster matches. We've got stuff, we've got like the, the XBG female tag team champions, Marvel... Black Marvel's Black Widow and Captain Marvel defending their titles. We got Cap and Iron Man in an Iron Man match. So I mean, you got a, a lot coming. And Nemesis, Nemesis, sorta. Wow. The prototype. The prototype Alice. The result of direct injection of the t-virus to living tissue i think or something to that effect because he'd been bitten it was mad he'd been bitten by a liquor i think it was or scratched by one and so they just started shooting him up with the juice mm -mm -mm. so for our pre-show in honor of the memorial the andre the giant memorial Starting off our males battle royal, Royal Rumble battle royal, Royal Rumble style battle royal with Nemesis, and with Drew McIntyre, the Claymore, two beast machines. I was gonna say two beast machines of humankind, but eh. All right, number three is about to emerge. Who is it? Kevin Owens. Okay. So let me check my draft papers here. Kevin Owens. 
is representing Team Raw, if I remember correctly. So we got Kevin Owens representing Team Raw. We've got Drew also representing Team Raw. And then we got Nemesis representing Team XPG. And going for KO. Gonna try to eliminate the Raw influence here in the Rumble. KO says no, but went. Oh, now we might. Hmm. I was gonna say, he might have his work cut out for him there, but somehow, somebody survived that one. And now Naruto, number four, entering a very dangerous beginning to a rumble. Oh, and takes down Drew McIntyre with a clothesline. So while these four duke it out, let's see, we've got an Intercontinental Championship bout in Bret Owen Hart tomorrow. We've got two legends fighting for the SmackDown vs. Raw Championship. And who do we have? Eddie Guerrero as number five. I believe another Team Raw cat right there. Yep. So Team Raw not looking good being right in the beginning. Naruto and Team XPG. And we've got the Intercontinental title tomorrow. We've got a world title match with AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar. Lesnar being the defender or the number one contender. We got tag title matches. XPG 2K title match. The uh, Raw Women's Championship match. And that's just for tomorrow night. Oh, Sheamus here now. Finally got us a guy from Team SmackDown in the Rumble. And just like that, Nemesis is gone. And Sheamus wasting no time going right at it. So while we're on that note, Sunday, Team SmackDown Day of the Rumble. Coming up next, Star Lord. Team XPG Star Lord. But Sunday, we've got New Day versus the New Age Outlaws. Tag title match right there. We've got. Alexa Bliss, Trish Stratus versus Becky Lynch and J uh, Mickey James. Uh, we've got a nice little celebrity thing with Dr. Phil, Chef Ramsey, and Joe Exotic. We've even got Walter White versus Gus Spring. I mean, it's going to be. We got a lot. Homer Simpson versus Peter Griffin. It's going to be a stupendous WrestleMania event. Three days, you'll never forget it. And Deadpool at number eight. Lucky eight ball right there. Looks like Eddie is going in hard on Star Lord. Star Lord says no. Ooh. Man, he's just locking up. Him. Maybe they had beef backstage, but Eddie is not having Star Lord in this rumble. McIntyre still in it from number one, going for Deadpool. KO after Sheamus. He's been definitely starting this out right, getting us started for our weekend. WrestleMania 38. Stupendous weekend. It's not just a wrestling pay per view. This is an event. This is a showcase. It's a three day event. Okay, okay. number nine, Ric Flair. Okay. I believe that's another Team Raw person. Hold on. Let's see. Team Raw is going to have all their spent before they get to the end. Oh. And this belt and Deadpool's done. Somehow clips those hands and Deadpool is done. Alright, so now the victim of Eddie Guerrero and the reverse DDT. Player going after Sheamus' leg. Very nice. Starlo taking it to McIntyre there. Oh. Naruto brings down the face of KO and I think I'll see some red. Blair capitalizing on that, and Kevin Owens is gone. Ooh, Eddie with a precise, perfect drop kick to Sheamus, and Flair eliminated by Star Lord. Ooh, Naruto with a nice backbreaker just drops him. And McIntyre with the jackhammer just holding Guerrero there. Just keeping him there. Oof. Uh, 
Oh, Eddie. Bring seeming to empty out pretty quick here. Hungry man in here. Somehow number one Drew McIntyre still amongst us. with a textbook slam on Guerrero as Naruto stomps out the Claymore. And we got another participant on their way. Star-Lord, oh, Star-Lord pumping up. But for what? Number 10 is John Wick. That is, and Eddie gets eliminated. I missed that one. The ring has just emptied out. Naruto and Eddie both eliminated. Ooh, nice kick to back of the head of John Wick there. We got Star Lord, John Wick, McIntyre, and Sheamus. McIntyre being number one. Team Raw, Sheamus being Team SmackDown, who might be getting eliminated. Oh, McIntyre's got him up. Kenny, oh, just tosses him. I'm gonna let Finn Balor. Team SmackDown again. We lost one Team SmackDown member, and now we got another. It looks like Star Lord eliminating John Wick. Talk about an underdog upset there. Oh, and McIntyre is done. Got two competitors Star Lord and Team XBG and Finn Balor, who just took an epic knee to the face and a moonsault from Star Lord, representing Team SmackDown. Another one just for good measure. We got Cesaro. Number 12, Cesaro. So Team SmackDown. Team Raw may not have anybody left. It's been an in and out of so many people so quick. Ooh, Finn Balor with a nice little elbow there. Ooh, and the front drop kick. Punishing Star Lord. Team SmackDown versus Team XPG right now. Seth Friggin Rollins. Another SmackDown superstar there. It's looking good for SmackDown, even though Star Lord's going for some intense epic stuff. Tarlo going for Cesaro, he's got him on the apron. And seemingly to tag out the Finn Balor who gets rejected by Cesaro and still a clothesline and eliminated anyway. Incredible, incredible. Bobby Lashley. 14. Bobby Lashley from Team Raw. So a hella contender for Team Raw. Two for Team SmackDown, one for Team XBG. Ooh. Solar goes straight for Lashley. Ill advised if you ask me. Seth freaking Rollins going after Finn Balor. Ringing his head with those shots. Got him, and over he goes. We're halfway through number 15, Team XBG spawn. So we've got two for Team XPG, one for Team Raw and one for Team SmackDown. A double team, ooh, bringing Lashley down. I think these men weren't fighting in a pre-show match, right? Oh, and Lashley coming back on Star-Lord there. The spawn goes after Seth friggin' Rollins. Lashley going after Star-Lord, they're just not having Team XPG right now. Mm. 16. Another Team SmackDown superstar, Roman Reigns. Let's see where the head of the table goes. Ooh, Starlo with that knee to spawn. Or was that to Lashley? I think it was Lashley. Spawn is eliminated by Seth Friggin Rollins. Reigns takes a drop kick. Nice drop kick from Star Lord, which seemingly didn't phase him. Ooh, 
Seth going to in on Bobby Lashley and then eliminating Star Lord. Number 17, Itachi. Representing Team XPG. Thankfully, since Star Lord just got eliminated, Itachi Uchiwa. And we got Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns for Team SmackDown, Lashley for Team Raw. Ooh, Itachi. Oh, that STO. Reigns with a smack to his partner, Seth Rollins. The unification of the shield does not matter right now. Now, Dolph Ziggler. Number 18. Good old Dolph Ziggler for Team SmackDown. I like to call him the beta Shawn Michaels, but I feel like that's disrespectful. Ooh. Itachi putting Seth friggin' Rollins on his friggin' ass. Reigns going after Ziggler. Itachi beats down a bloodied up Bobby Lashley. Tow just brings him all the way down. Ziggler catching the hands of Roman Reigns. Oh, no, Ziggler has a, a seat at the table and John Cena. John Cena. Legendary man right there. The name will never forget a Team Raw. Even though it does feel weird that he's Team Raw. Maybe it's just my generation, my time with WWE. He was a, it seemed like he was a SmackDown superstar, but uh, nope, Team Raw. Him and Lashley repping Team Raw, the Shield repping Team SmackDown with uh, Dolph Ziggler as well, I believe. Got him now, Big E, another SmackDown superstar. Tachi's the only one repping W or XBG in this one. Raw getting short on superstars, but got they've got two good ones in there right now. Mmm, Ziggler with an epic DET there to Seth Rollins. Big E going for the head of the table. Roman says no. Big E's not letting up though. Cena going after Ziggler. Tachi may be a victim of Lashley. These men are hungry. There goes Itachi at the hand of Lashley. Ziggler just got thrown across the ring and now we get Randy Orton. 21, Randy Orton. It's looking pretty good for SmackDown in here right now. XPG with no representation. We've got two representatives of the Shield going at it. Big E. Now I have to say, Finn's been holding his own here. That's not Finn. Wow. That's uh, Randy Orton beating down John Cena and Seth freaking Rollins. See you later, Big E. And Reigns and Orton with a nice kiss headbutt. Oh, so much at once. Batista, number 22. And Team Smackdown epic. We got a giant right here. Team Raw has still got a couple hands in the pot. A couple hands in the cookie jar, I guess you could say. But they are taking it. Now they're going against each other, Cena and Lashley. It's like Batista reminding Randy Orton of their uh, former friendship doesn't apply. Nice backbreak from Batista. Ziggler and Reigns going at it. Ziggler trying his hardest. It looks like Cena might be might be eliminating Lashley there, and there he goes. Bobby Lashley has been eliminated. Team Raw's infighting has gotten us down to John Cena representing Team Raw. We got Batista, Ziggler, Orton, and Reigns representing Team SmackDown. Ooh. I think I found every bit of that turnbuckle. Who do we have next? Blade, a great representative for Team XPG. Number 23. 
Got his sights on Randy Orton. The legend killer, the Viper, strikes at Blade. Looks like Cena's got some plans for Roman Reigns over there. Ziggler picking a fight with Batista. And out goes Roman and a famous to Batista. Blade catching the knee of Randy Orton. Lots going on right now. Got another superstar joining the fray. Jake the Snake Robbers. That might be, that's Team Raw right there. Jake the Snake. So we still got Cena, and now we got Jake the Snake Robert. Representing Team Raw, we got Batista still in it with Randy Orton, former Evolution partner. Dolph Ziggler for Team SmackDown. Still looking good for Team SmackDown. Cena's got to be a little wore out. Ooh. Right on the knee, that atomic drop to Batista. Gordon's got Cena up, and Dean Ambrose, Team SmackDown, had the whole shield in this one. 25 is a good number to come in with. Played a little weary there, fighting all over the place. Suplex to Ambrose from Ziggler. Played going after Cena and Anita Batista, rocking his shit. Powerbomb to Cena from Blade. And it looks like Jake the Snake might be done with Randy Orton. And there he goes. He's out. Immediately going after Batista. Ziggler and Ambrose. Back and forth, back and forth. Very nice. Ooh, drops that knee on Ambrose. Ziggler finding heights he's never found before. Is seen to get stomped out by Blade. Who do we have next? Macho Man Randy Savage. Pump circumstance, guys. Pump in circumstance. So Macho Man representing Team Raw like this. This is good. Cena just got eliminated, so we've still got two legends who are currently at each other for Team Raw. Ziggler, Ambrose, and Batista for Team SmackDown and Blade for Team XBG. We're coming up on these last few entrants. So one of these people will be our Royal Rumble champion. Ziggler is gone. He did pretty good. Try to give him props there. Ooh, down goes Batista. Ambrose holding nothing back on this one. Played showboating, and there goes the Snake Roberts gone. Mm. Macho Man now the only representative left for Raw. And we've got Shane Chi coming in to join his Marvel brother Blade. As Ambrose is is kicking his ass, Shang Chi goes in to pick him up, can't scoop him. Team Ross sliding to the edge of the apron, kind of catches breath there. And we got to go over the top rope. Both we touch the ground. And now we got Team SmackDown fighting within itself, and Team XBG, Team Marvel fighting within itself. Alrighty. Braun Strowman, number 28. Now that's a big name to have for Team Raw. At the end of this rumble. Blade. Live to fight another day, my brother. Ambrose and Braun going at it. And Braun Strowman immediately eliminated. Almost immediately. And there goes Randy. No more representation for Team Raw and not much of a chance to get anymore. Eric Bischoff. Oh, maybe say never, right? So Team Raw has a little bit more representation in Eric Bischoff at 29. Dean Ambrose for SmackDown and Shane Chi for XPG. So right now it's even. Got one more competitor. One for each team at the moment. Who will get the edge in the next entry? Ooh. Ambrose taking it to Bischoff. 
This is our last intro right here. Number 30. The pre-show rumble. The male rumble. Peter Parker. So the odds for XPG just went up significantly. Peter Parker, Shang Chi for XPG, Bishop for Raw. Ooh, Ambrose for SmackDown. Shang Chi going to direct directly for Peter Parker, who might get eliminated as fast as he got here. And Bischoff taking a whole pummeling from Dean Ambrose. Oh, and returning the favor. Shang Chi and Peter Parker fighting still. Two iconic Titans going at, and then all right, now we got Ambrose on Shang Chi, Bischoff on Spider Man. These are our last four. It'll be one of these four. They are WrestleMania Royal Rumble champion for the males division. And then we will jump over to Florida with the women at the XPG Arena for the women's rumble. Ooh, nice inverted DET there. Shane Chi catching some love from the fans. Spider-Man going after Ambrose. Well, that was a right hand. Peter caught that one. No, no Spidey tingle there. Shane Chi going for Bischoff, who says no son. Trying to hit him a little bit of jujitsu. Uh-oh. Bischoff getting arrogant. Catches forearm to the back from Spider-Man. Oh, yep, now he's beating the hell out of Bischoff. Got everybody to their feet now, Ambrose. Irish whip and Shang-Chi is done. We got three, and then there were three, and then there were two. And it's Eric Bischoff for Team Frog. And Spider-Man for Team XVG. A Superman punch. I think we know how this is going to go. Good old Eric. He's getting a belt if he somehow, oh, somehow manages to succeed here. It does not look like that's happening. <laughs> Alright, so this has been an excellent way to start our pre-show. Peter Parker, Eric Bischoff, he'll be, ooh, he'll live through it. Much less he'll represent after it. Before we jump over to Florida for the ladies division, same thing, 10, 10, and 10. Ooh, drops Bischoff on the top rope there. Ooh, and Bischoff trying. Props to Bischoff who just took a big boot. It's all over. But the bell. Bischoff going into the corner. Oh, Parker's got him up. Oh, and that's it, guys. WrestleMania 38, the stupendous male Rumble winner. Peter Parker in honor of Andre the Giants and the WWE's honorable memorable memorial. You know what I'm talking about. So let's kick over to XPG. And we're going to get the women's rumble started immediately. Because this is how we're kicking off Mania. We got some hell matches coming tomorrow and Sunday. So we're doing it right. Boom. Welcome to the XPG Dome. In, I said Florida, and it's in Virginia. The two superstars, Oops. That true, number one and number two, will start in the ring at the same time. He's going to do all Other this again. The superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice, at WrestleMania! Yeah. Nobody clued him in, I'm guessing. Oops. I jet into that. That's an epic start. You don't want to have to go through that in the beginning of the Rumble Night, Jax. Yes, ma'am. You thought you were going to be able to take it easy in the beginning of this rumble. Oops. And I don't want to keep 
too much emphasis on on Team Raw SmackDown XBG because they are competing. It, they're not competing brand versus brand versus brand. They're all competing against it's every man for himself, every woman for herself. So I should probably pull back from all that. I guess it's just the competitive nature in me. Robbing my personal who's number two, Liv Morgan. She's looking ready for this rumble. And of course all these lovely ladies will still be flown out to Dallas and will be part of the of the WrestleMania event. We just wanted to have these two rumbles together. But for time's sake and convenience sake and sake's sake, we had one in each arena at the same time. Liv Morgan looking ready. Ready to take the Rumble, knock out 29 ladies, hop on her plane, and head to Texas. I'm excited for you, baby. Nia Jax and Liv Morgan starting this one off. Number two of the tribute, I guess you could say, to the memorial to Andre the Giant, the Battle Royals. We're doing a Royal Rumble style. Even representation from all three of our active shows in our little fantasy universe here. Who drew number three? Maurice. And now Maurice jumping in. I go straight to showboating. I love it. <coughs> Oh, she goes. It's not, I was going to say, she's already going to get an elimination. Ten seconds, another lady would grace us. Who shall she be? Rhea Ripley, okay. Got some heavy hitters in the very beginning, and did that really just happen? Nia's done. Nia Jax is done. So I guess Maurice really came here to win. But Rhea's not having it. Up she goes and down she goes. Ooh. Up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There she goes. Uh oh. Number five is Captain Marvel, and that's not good. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Okay, look at you go. Liv Morgan, okay. Giving, giving Captain Marvel, okay. A little bit of hell over there. Rhea, Rhea and Marvel both in a precarious position. There goes Captain Marvel that quickly. Wow. Now we got Becky Lynch joining. Uh, Rhea Ripley did manage to save herself. Oh, lots of kicks happening. Becky Lynch exploding in the ring. Look at that. Right on Liv Morgan. Rhea Ripley going in on Maurice. Yeah, let her know. This is my ring now. Becky fired up. Love those redheads. I'm scared to death to fight her. Looks like she's done with Maurice. Can she get her over the road now? Shotzi coming in. Can she get her all the way over? And she's up on the apron. She went over the top rope. Now you just need the feet to touch the ground, and she says no. And Morgan, the Hurricane Rana to Shotzi. Very nice. Rhea catching her breath on Maurice and Lynch go at it. Becky Lynch will be uh, in Sunday show. Teaming up with Mickey James fighting Alexa Bliss and Trish Stratus. And there's Carmella. Number eight. Lucky old number eight. Going straight in after Maurice. Now Lynch and Morgan going at it. Shotzi and Ripley going at it. 
Shotzi hiding on the apron there for a second, trying to get her breath. They're exploding on the explosive Becky Lynch. We got a lot going on. A little famous are there from Liv Morgan. Very nice. Bailey. I love Bailey. Number nine. Representing that terrible top ten. Yep. Oh, and immediately eliminating the Reese. I don't know how Rhea felt about that, but she's letting Bailey know how she feels about her. Out in the corner trying to hoist her up there on the turnbuckle. Morgan and Lynch just back and forth over there. Shayna Baszler. Very nice. Top terrible 10. She'd be one who could still hang. Wait, let's go over just now. Shotzi and Ripley. Bayless showboating. Nice elimination there. And Carmella's coming to make her regret it. Ooh, and Liv Morgan still going hard. Nebula, the team XBG, who does need some representation in the ring, looking as I am. Forgot all about XBG. But Liv Morgan, though, taking a beating from Becky Lynch. I think she's our earliest competitor. Seems like the counter's constant. These ladies just in and out, in and out, no time wasted. Who's number 11? 12, sorry. 12 Sable. And a special guest appearance at our WrestleMania 38 pre show Rumble. Second Rumble, female Rumble. The one in Virginia, the other one was in Texas. Sable and Carmella. Lynch and. Bailey going hard over there. Nebula and Shayna Baszler. And Morgan, Morgan, you need to just breathe, honey. Do yourself for a minute. Number two. Mia Yim, number 13. So Morgan, she's lasting through the top ten. An elimination in just a second. We got eight ladies in the ring. Ooh, on the double axe handle on the back of Nebula's sh shoulders. Ooh, drop kick to Carmella over there. A lot of ladies, a lot of action. Sable just seeming to swing and turn to the next person. Making Lynch delivering drop kicks for days. Saw one up there, Bailey taking one. Nebula in the corner. Ooh, knife edge chop in the center of the ring there. Didn't miss, didn't miss that. Baszler in the corner. Carmella going to get rid of Baszler. Liv Morgan laying into Sable. And Baszler is going finito as is Lynch. Double elimination. Two for the price of one, three for the price of two, one, and Sable's out. Carmella going for Bailey now. And Bailey's eliminated. Ring emptying quickly. Liv Morgan taking a shot to the face. Double axe handle from Carmella who might be able to capitalize on just the sheer fatigue that Morgan has to be experiencing. Nebula up. Nebula is up. And over, but not out. And out she is now. From eight to three in no time whatsoever. Number 14, Catwoman. Coming to represent XPG, Catwoman. The home team, I guess, if you will. 
for the arena we're currently at. Carmella over on the wrong side of the ropes. Can she... Uh, oh, Liv Morgan with an excellent reversal of the Catwoman into a German suplex. Wow. Number two is not playing to be at number 16 on their way right now. Ross, no XPG, lady. Well, Liv Morgan is definitely representing SmackDown right now. No doubt at all. Ooh, Frost with a front drop kick springboarding off the rope there. May have an elimination. She went for the clothesline, but didn't quite catch it, and went for it again, got herself eliminated. Number 16, the like guest appearance tonight here. The lovely, legend Tori Wilson. Former Playboy Bunny, former women's champion. Showboat in there. She's got Morgan in the corner. Oh, she's got Morgan up now. Liv Morgan is not in a good place. And eliminated. Mickey James. That's a legend right here. Currently active legend, not just a guest appearance. Liv is eliminated, so we got Tori, we've got Mickey, and then we've got Carmella, Kim, and Catwoman who just took down Carmella. James on the rope. Looks like bad things might be about to happen. Catwoman joining in on the elimination. Mickey just got here. Maybe is eliminated. Number 18, Miss McMahon. Stephanie, the beautiful Stephanie McMahon, who will be fighting China Sunday for some championship gold. And a last man standing match, if I remember correctly. Oh, an elimination immediately. Steffi. Steffi, Steffi, Steffi. Ooh, with a nice little jawbreaker to Carmella. Stephanie going after Catwoman, who would be an excellent person to eliminate. Stephanie representing Team SmackDown is eliminated. Oh, wow, that happened. So quickly. Number 19 on her way to the ring. Lord have mercy, another legend, Trish Stratus. Oh, Steffi. You gotta get on a plane, girl. You gotta be in Texas Sunday. Victoria and Trish, two familiar faces, no strangers to each other. Ooh, the X Factor there from Tori. Carmel and Catwoman in the top corner breaking things down. Tori going after Trish like they still got beef after all these years. Asuka, Asuka, sorry about that. Asuka on her way, number 20. Ooh, Carmel eating top rope there. Trish eating the map from Catwoman. Looked like Tori was going after her again. Asuka going after Carmella. Seems like Carmella's been here for a minute. Tori is eliminated by Catwoman. Very nice. Very nice. Number 21. Good to have another Team Raw representative. This Alexa Bliss. Beautiful Alexa Bliss. They're kind of crazy. Scares me a little bit, but totally would still marry her, Alexa Bliss. Oh, Trish in a bad way right now. Feet not touch the ground, but Asuka passing off an opportunity to eliminate the legend. Hall of Famer Trish Stratus lives to fight just a little bit longer. Another contestant on the way. Showboating taking place. Uh oh. Wonder Woman. Got two lovely DC ladies who will actually be fighting together against the Marvel ladies, the 
XBG Women Tag Team Champions, Black Widow and Captain Marvel. So these ladies got to get in and out and on a plane, because that's actually tomorrow night. Ooh, Carmella taking the force of Wonder Woman there. Oscar in the corner. Trish and Bliss. Uh oh, now we got Wanda. Team XBG getting a thick, a healthy little group of ladies in here. Wearing. Oh, Carmella gone. Too much red in the ring as Wanda shows up in a comic classic. Carmella's fought well and is now eliminated. Ooh. Wonder Woman going hard on Bliss's chest. Asuka tearing into the Hall of Famer. Trish Stratus. Anybody want to going to help? Nope, maybe. Going after Bliss. And we got Spider Gwen. We got two DC ladies who are oddly fighting each other, considering they're supposed to be partners tomorrow night, but whatever. Two DC, or two Marvel ladies in Spider Gwen. And. Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch, Oscar for Team SmackDown, Trish and Bliss for Team Raw, and another entry on the way. And Trish is eliminated by Spider Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Uh oh, another beautiful lady, Team Raw representation, Sasha Banks at 25. Tomorrow we'll be facing Charlotte Flair in a ladder match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So a lot of these ladies got to get in and out on a plane. Ooh, this just almost a choke slam there from Blissus to Asuka. Ooh, looks like Gwen Stacy's got us. Oh, some suplexes there for Wonder Woman 2 and Marie. Sasha Banks. Okay, Sasha Banks eliminating Wanda Maximoff. Very nice. Ah, another legend Hall of Famer here. Oh, Gwen Stacy eliminated by Sasha Banks. Just Sasha Banks single handedly eliminating the Marvel ladies. Hall of Famer China, who will be fighting in a last lady standing match Sunday. Number 26. Brings Wonder Woman to the jackhammer. Wonder Woman says, No, man. I too am a wonder of the world. Sasha and Catwoman back and forth. Looks like Sasha's going after these superheroes. Shut so have it. So Marvel Lady is now back in the fray. Uh oh, Sasha. Catwoman says no anti superhero mentality here. But can she get her? Come on, Sasha. Hold on. I don't want to see you go. I don't want to see you go too. Oscar got eliminated, not you too, Sasha. Ooh. Whew. Sasha over the shoulder to the gut of Catwoman. Uh, Marvel vs. DC and Electra who brings down Wonder Woman with that nice little half arc with Rana. Trying to again deny that jackhammer and Gamora number 28. Some more excellent Marvel representation here. This team XPG is looking healthy. Wonder Woman, Gamora, Catwoman, Electra. China from Team SmackDown and we've got Bliss and Sasha. Rob China might be on her way out. Little baby Bliss, five foot of five feet of fury. Almost taking China out of the fray. Oh, nice uppercut there though. And Electra is after her like she was Harley Quinn and uh -oh. Marvel's getting she hulk Sasha and Wonder Woman going out of the she hulk and there's a 29. This has been an excellent pre-show. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. Just watching these ladies and watching the gentlemen earlier. These have been two good rumbles. I feel like I should reward somehow. And Banks eliminated by Wonder Woman. I hate that. I think Slimming for Team Ross seems like 
Who? Roundhouse kick from Electra. Beautiful. She Hulk and the Five Feet of Fury going at it. Electra and Wonder Woman. Electra just throwing those roundhouses all around the ring. Alexa somehow lifting She-Hulk to eliminate She-Hulk from this rumble. One more lady to join the fray. Uh, and another one of those kicks from Electra. Catwoman has been eliminated. She had a good little run though she did. And Charlotte Flair. Oh, these kicks are everywhere. Charlotte Flair. Well, let's see. Who could win this one over there? Man. The more trying to kill Electra seemingly. Oh, and there's kicks, that super kick from Wonder Woman to China. Garland Flair's got a title match with Sasha Banks tomorrow night, taking a nice hip toss from Electra. China gets to shoot. Oh, nice. Beautiful vertical suplex. Brings down the knee on Wonder Woman. Electra going for Alexa. This might know. Electra with a reversal. I'm China with that belly slam. This has got Electra who's been kicking people out left and right. Interrupted by Charlotte. Bliss was going to go at her, it looked like. And China just threw Wonder Woman across the ring. The ninth wonder of the world and Wonder Woman. She-Hulk and Flair. The more in Electra and then there's just Bliss. She's so lit on me. She even makes Gamora look tall in this situation. All these ladies representing us did the gentleman earlier in our pre-show. This has been an excellent pre-show. Day one, I guess, effectively of the XPG stupendous mem uh, WrestleMania 38 event. Oh, Electra about eliminated there. Charlotte might be getting killed here by She-Hulk. Who's not holding back? Oh, Wonder Woman with another kick this time with the gut. The, the five feet of fury, Alexa Bliss, who just. Right back to her feet. Irish whipping Wonder Woman into the corner. And going in. Looks like lifting her up there. And Charlotte thought about helping her. And then second guessed herself. It doesn't seem to matter as Wonder Woman is eliminated. Clara doing a little bit of the Nature Boy shuffle. Just to receive a spine buster. With... Extra sauce from Gamora there, and She-Hulk is up. If anybody could get her out, it'd be China. Joni Lark. Up, oh, she got her over. Over's halfway. Over is half the battle. And two feet to the floor is the other half, and She-Hulk says no. Ooh. Answers with a closed one just for the trouble she caused there. So Raw has T or Team Raw has Alexa Bliss right now and Charlotte Flair who are currently engaging. Uh -oh. One of which White might be eliminating the other. Team XBG has Gamora, Electra, and She Hulk. Team SmackDown has China. So it's looking good for Team XBG right now with only one competitor for 
Raw and one for SmackDown. More right over with China in that suplex. I think they're going for or Carmel. Uh, Lord have mercy. Bliss going for Electra. I worry if someone who's going to eliminate She-Hulk. All four of these women need to eliminate Hulk. Seems like her and China have been consistently competitive. Oh, Gamora. Shut. Sh gee, whack. Big blam. And Gamora tossing She Hulk around in ways that really are scaring me. And just picks her up like she's nothing and then. Tosses her out. She Hulk is eliminated with authority by Gamora. Wow. Ooh. Now Bliss on the receiving end of Gamora's Fury. The daughter of Thanos, the assassin. And Alexa. Electra with us. Another one of those heel kicks. Oh. Bliss should just step back and let these two go. Oh, wait, no. Join him with Gamora and a snap suplex on Electra. These are the three. One of these three ladies will be closing us off for the pre show. I can't wait for tomorrow night. It, it's going to be. Mania is going to be great this year. The stu most stupendous event in sports entertainment, period. Or an Electra. Oh, Electra with those lethal kicks and a kip up back to her feet. Seems these two ladies have a vested interest in an elimination of Gamora. Oh, and that ended quickly. Tilt the world hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Team XPG fighting within itself and Team Raw has bliss to one out of three chance to bring it home for Team Raw. There you go, girl. Showboat, catch your breath. Let them two do what they do. But Alexa can't keep herself out of the fight. Send up Gamora for something. Or is out. Electra on the apron there, getting her breath. And up goes Gamora. Alexa's, Alexa's on fire right now. Gamora can't have much to resist, and she doesn't have enough. And then there were two. Electra not looking like she's in a good place herself. Ooh. Alexa Bliss or Electra will finish out our show. I am Leon Rossetti. And I look forward to spending this weekend with you guys. I hope I'll see you back tomorrow for WrestleMania 38's Raw show. And Sunday night again for WrestleMania 38's SmackDown show as Electra is victim to Alexa Bliss. Team Raw is our winner. Alexa Bliss and Peter Parker bringing it home for our pre-show. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. God, I enjoy her. I will see you guys tomorrow night. For the day one or day two, however you want to look at it, of WrestleMania 38. Be safe, love each other, and I'll see you later.